Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest 4, Roger Wilco and the Time Rippers. We're in Space Quest 1, the Serian Encounter, and we are trying to get back to our Time Pod, but that is proving to be a little bit tricky because there's a biker gang who keep running us over, and they've run us over a number of times now, to be honest with you. I've been having a bit of a think because it's been over a week since I recorded the last episode now. Um, I took a short break over Christmas. I uh, hope everyone had a good Christmas. He's celebrating, by the way. Uh, so we've been going up here, and I wondered if maybe the reason we keep dying is because we are meant to enter not from the south to the area with the time pod, but maybe we can loop back round past the droid shop. So I don't know if that's actually going to make any difference. I'll give it a go. There's one thing that I thought of between episodes. It will probably not make the slightest bit of difference, but it's worth trying. Because I think we've died sort of five or six times now getting run over by that thing. So um, I might look to save here. I don't hear anything. So, I mean, hopefully the, the bike isn't going to come onto this screen and we've just saved and got ourselves in trouble we'll, we'll see we'll see um so let's try going because i believe the, the time pod is over to the left of this area so maybe if we enter from this side the bike won't appear so far so good huh. well there we go <laughs> well there we go Entering from the other side of the screen does indeed make a difference. Now, you guys have been saying that um, for, for the matches and the cigar, maybe we need to be in a different time period. So I had a look at my notes. So far, we've been Space Quest 1, which is here, obviously. Space Quest 3, but we needed... Well, we couldn't get out of the time pod because we died on Ortega like we did in Space Quest 3. So I wonder if maybe we can buy the underwear that we need back at the um, mall in the Hurt So Good shop, so that's something I want to try out. We've also been to Space Quest 12, which was the first place, um, and I think that's, oh, Space Quest 10 as well. Um, so I'm going to try going back to some previous areas. Now, I've written down the symbols and things that we need to use. Um, I don't know that we'll need to go to Space Quest 10 necessarily, but we're going to try it. Um, and do, right, what was the code for Space Quest 10? So it was like the little smiley face thing. Um, then it was, I think this thing. Let me just have a quick look. Uh, no, it's this one. Then it was one similar to that, but it had a, this one. There we go. Then there was a three lines like that. And then there were two of these things. So hopefully this should take us back to Space the Quest quad quark 10. Drives Rev to life. Time and space bend under the fibrillations of the time rip transfluxers. Your adrenaline and stomach reel with the hyperbolic hyperbole. And finally, finally. Right, so we're off. I'm hoping this is going to take us back to Space Quest 10, but we'll see. I do wonder if we could also go back to the area of Space Quest 10 where we found the latex babes in the first place. I don't know. I might try that too. Hopefully the sequel police aren't still here. That's my, that's my fear of being back here, to be honest. So let's save while we're still in the time pod, just in case. Um, and we'll call it, I don't know, back to SQ10. Just in case. So we'll head out. I want to go to Hurt So Good. I want to see if there's anything we can buy that will allow us to go to Space Quest 3. Because that's the one place that we haven't done anything yet. So that's that's my thinking. We need to go back. Can, can you not? Thank you. <laughs> Let's get out. Yeah, hopefully we're not going to have to give the sequel police a run around again. But we'll see. So... Let's head off. We'll go to Hurt So Good. We'll see if there is any sort of thermal underwear like we needed in Space Quest 3. Then maybe we can go to Ortega and get something. Because why else would we be able to go to Space Quest 3 unless there was something we needed there, right? That That's my thinking. Whether or not it will be the case, I don't know. Okay, we're going to have to go around. But I'm hoping, given the fact that people are still wandering around and things, I'm hoping the sequel police are gone. Um, although this is shut. So, huh, I don't know. Let's see if we can go this way and round, because I don't really fancy going the whole way around the mall again, if we can help it. 
I do like the music here though, it's, it's very, well funnily enough, more like isn't it? So yeah, we're at a little bit of a... Um, impasse isn't the right word that I'm thinking of, but we're at a little bit of a point where we don't really know what we're doing now, I think. So we've got a bunch of items, we don't really know what to do with them. Uh, we've got a laptop, which apparently we've powered up with a battery, but we still don't have anywhere to use it. Um, we've got a jar of acidy stuff, which again, we don't know where to use that. What else have we got? We've got the matches and the cigar, which again, we don't know where to use that. Or whether they even need to be used together, or whether they're two separate items. Right, here we go. Right, hurt so good. Into the shop, please. Thank you. Right. So it is still open, so that makes me think that we can maybe do something here. Okay. What you got for me, buddy? You talk to yourself. Uh, do we... can't remember, do we touch this? Yeah, we do. Uh, catalogue. Electronics, electronic... Um... Faux components Swiss Army Micro Entertainment Center. Style to look like a real set of miniature components, this is a complete home entertainment... I mean, we don't want that. Let's continue on. Dodecaphonic around sound processor. Ever notice how flat and unexciting normal stereophonic, quintrophonic, and... I, d I don't think we want that. CDGI-ROM TV. Move over CD-ROM, CDG, CDI, and CDTV. CDGDI... I don't think we want that either. It's lucky you can interrupt Pocket it. portable terminal. Say, is that a complete workstation in your pocket, or are you just glad to see me? Now you can <laughs> carry the power of a dumb terminal around with you without even creasing your jumpsuit. Includes chiclet-style keyboard and dentine-style... Don't think we need that. Pocket Pal Connector. If you're a proud owner of our ever-popular Pocket Pal portable terminal, you have no doubt noticed that without the proper connector, it is virtually useless. <laughs> of course. <Fortunately. laughs> so you have to buy both. Right, so there was nothing there. Let's try this Ice one. Man, pocket ice machine. This uh, miracle of modern engineering fits in purse or pocketbook and freezes 15 pounds of ice cubes per hour. Choose from ice slices, cubes, or crushed. Requires mini hydrogen and oxygen canisters sold separately. Breaks the ice at parties. 300 buckazoids recalled by manufacturers. <laughs> I wonder if that could be potentially something. It's to do with ice. Mate, we'll have to think of that. Epachia. Now you can remove yeah, no, that one. growth from upper lip. Left then the recipe beamer. Imagine the situation. No, we don't want anything to do with recipes. Cyber debunker. If your offspring is turning out to be. No. Okay, so it's not that. Armatroid 2500. A remote control toy for all ages. No, I don't think we want a robotic arm. Yobot, the Ramboid robot. Having Yobot in the house is like having an extra playmate around. Don't see why we would need that. Weather radio. Hours of fun. Press the bar and get a burst of static. If you can figure out whether or not it's a radio, you're smarter than we are. <laughs> Ability to pull in stations and reproduce sounds not included. Right, so I don't think it's that either. Uh, open garage doors on other planets. Turn off crucial life support. Uh, requires one AAA battery, not included. I don't think it's sold out anyway. Okay. Huh. These special sale items are available. Right, let's uh, see what we've got in the special sale. Free Shrink Wrap 2000. Work for a large retail software chain? Like to take the products home? No, I don't think it'll be that. Um, oh, there's only literally one special. Okay, so I don't think so then. So I, I don't think they've got what we need. So it, I guess it was an idea, but it, it apparently didn't didn't work so in that case I mean unless they've got it in the the tool shop um, which is possible because it is a clothes shop so I wonder if maybe they would have it in there I mean like I say we might not even need this you might not even be able to get it but this is all I can think of at the moment so let's go into here we'll see if we can talk to the uh, the robotic guy <laughs> Words aren't coming to me today, guys. This guy. Right, do you have any of those really cool... You start to talk to the clerk, but realize there is nothing else in here that would be appropriate. Oh. Well. I guess that solves... That answers that question, doesn't it? So. Interesting. 
let's get back to the time pod then. We maybe can try going to the... Like I said, I can't think of the words today. <laughs> This is what happens. I take a little break, a bit of a break from recording and it all just goes out the window a bit, guys. Um, so let's get back to the time pod. We'll use some of the other symbols. Maybe we can go to the area where we first came to Space Quest 10. I don't know if that's possible. It might be. Um, and then if not, we'll go to Space Quest 12, I guess, and have a look there. But I don't really know how much more there is to do there because we had a good look around there at the beginning of the game. So, uh, let's have a look at our symbols again. So, what happens if we do the last six symbols backwards? I'm sure that the did something quad before. Quark drives Rev to life. Time and space bend under the fibrillations of the time rip transfluxers. Your adrenaline and stomach reel with the hyperbolic hyperbole. And finally... Finally! Okay, we're off again. I love the way the music is slightly different on each of these sequences depending on which game you're going to. I think it's very, very clever that they did that. Very, very clever. Little touch that makes all the difference with the feeling. Right, okay, here we go. So we're here now. So we can get back here, which is interesting. Alright, um... Let's do this. Okay, out we get. Let's have a look around here, see if there's anything we can do with any of our items. I don't know if there will be, but we've been here before. We had a bit of a look around, but I wonder if there is maybe more we can do. Actually, I'm going to save again here. Uh, let's just call it back to latex babes, even though I don't think they're going to be here. Where did they go anyway? They sort of just went out into the middle of the moor and then never came back. Not really sure what happened there. So, let's head this way. We'll have a look around this place and then if we can't find anything here, we'll go back to Space Quest 12, I guess. I can't remember. Was there anything this way? Or was that just the, like a, a dead end? Oh, it's the bird thing again. Whoa! What was that? Can the bird get us again? Is, is that a thing? Because we already escaped the nest, right? Although I guess maybe we can get back to their base if we go back to the bird nest. That could be a thing. Right, let's head down here. I think this is where that pool was at the bottom, wasn't it? So we'll see if there's anything new here now. So it's weird, we sort of time travelled from... Like one period in Space Quest 10 to another period in Space Quest 10. Can we go this way? No, we can't. Alright, so there's all this water. The That's... water here is quite deep. Yeah, their base was down there, wasn't it? But I don't know if we can actually get back down to there it. There is no reply. <laughs> we can talk to it, apparently. Don't mess with it. Right, no, so we can't... Right, so it doesn't look like we can really do anything here. Uh, let's just have a look at our items for a minute to make sure that we haven't... Uh, does this actually give us hints? SQ4 hint book. Does, does it actually work? Or a uh, long tunnel of a light, tentacled venomite. Uh, can't seem to find the one-armed man anywhere. Next. Nothing happens. Right? Can we just like reveal all of this stuff? Okay. A lot of this seems like it's just jokes or you something. You can't use that here. But I don't know if there's maybe any other clues in here, or whether it was just getting those symbols. It would serve no purpose. That's what you think. Uh, good dental hygiene. Okay. Next. Uh. No. A strange room inside the supercomputer. I don't. I don't even think these really relate to what we're doing. There's some sort of codes here. Don't know what that is. Um, something about mega hole. You can't use that here. No. Uh, okay, nothing there which looks massively helpful. I'm only skim reading these, by the way. Is that the final page? Yeah, it's okay. I don't, I don't think there's anything there that's going to help us out. In it all honesty. Serve no purpose. Um, hmm. 
so that didn't really do us any favours. I mean, I wonder... I, I'm thinking maybe we have to go back to Space Quest 12 then. Because we can't do anything in Space Quest 3. There doesn't appear to be anything for us in Space Quest 10. I do wonder if we're going to go to Space Quest 2 at some point, given that we've been to all of the other games that we've already played. I'm thinking we'll probably hit Space Quest 2 at some point, but we don't have any more coordinates just yet. So I'm thinking we've got to go to Space Quest 12. That, that's my sort of train of thought here, if you will. So let's head back to the pod. And then we will fly off to Space Quest 12, I guess. So let's jump in. And I'll tell you what, guys, we'll do that in the next one because we're actually out of time. So we'll jump in the pod, we'll fly to Space Quest 12 next time, see if there's anything there that we missed. Uh, but we're going to have to do a bit of trial and error, I think. We're not really sure what we're doing. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Fans and Fellows, and Lyle for all the support. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all next time.